Hello, folks, and welcome back to Build It With Smith. We are here in tune for, uh, what is this, level 9 of the SimCity Build It Beginner's Guide. And it uh, looks like we have a special offer here that I just wanted to kind of breeze through. So uh, it is offering me a transportation pack, which will include 80 sim cash and 10,000 simoleons, plus, I'm guessing, the bus terminal. Um, the education pack, which will include... 200 um i mean you guys can read all this stuff here i'm not gonna go through it i know you all can read you all are of age and well educated men and women out there so here are some packs that i can have and these my dear viewers are from the uh, specialization that we unlocked on level 10 so right now in addition to the parks and the landscape which we already have we now have um, the Department of Education, which for 40,000 um, simoleons, we would purchase that, and that would in turn unlock a lot of other education themed buildings. And a um, couple of things to note here number one, the currency and ways that you can purchase these range. You can purchase some of them for simoleons which we have and some of them you can purchase for keys you see two keys there three keys five keys and on and some of them you can purchase for sim cash now the uh the uh, advantage of having these particular buildings in your city would be to boost um population and as you can see uh, with the university for 25 keys you will boost your population and everything that that data layer touches the population data layer touches uh you would boost it 50 percent so that is good and uh all right so some cool things here to unlock we're not going to purchase that department of education now because it really wouldn't make any sense with the way that our current bank account is set up and so there's that now the next question we will get right into is uh, how do you get those keys, right? The world wants to know. How do you get those beloved uh, keys? Well, a couple of episodes back, you guys might remember on uh, level 8, you can go back and watch it, uh, we unlocked the um, shipping depot. And now, and it took 24 hours for it to unlock, and so now we have the cargo ship dock a way for us to get keys golden keys there are also platinum keys which you cannot earn by doing the cargo ship dock but you can earn in other ways and it can be used to purchase other things but let's see if we have what it takes to send off our first cargo shipment are we ready can we tap it yes okay so the cargo ship dock uh the cargo ship departs in 17 hours, 15, so we had 18 hours, I'm assuming, and we would get one reward for it. We can also request another ship. I'm afraid to hit that. It'll probably give you another time uh, timer there before that comes up, but I do think that we can probably um, ship something off here today in this episode. Uh, if we don't already have the items in our queue, we do have one seed and where, where, okay, we can make, I guess we'll have to make a hammer. Do we have, okay, so it's going to take a little bit of time, a little bit more than what I thought. Get those going. So we'll come back in just a second. Now, let's see, more bubbles to pop, are there? There are more bubbles to pop. Why are these folks so mad? Why are you so mad? Traffic jams, eh? All right, well, traffic jams. Okay, you have done it. How do you upgrade roads is what you want to know. Well, you click on the roads button there, and you can see where there's a lot of stress. A lot of stress going out into this particular road. And uh, so to upgrade it, we we have it selected there, the, the button with the... Um, traffic signal and you just select your road here and we're going to upgrade it for fifteen hundred dollars to a four lane road and that's going to clear up all of our problems there 
Uh, now these yellow ones, as you can see, they didn't cause much of a riffraff there. The guys are happy again, and we're able to move right on. Okay, that should be popping up now. There it is. And let's go in here and make this hammer. Oh, it's going to take 14 minutes for some reason. I didn't know it took that long. Or you know what? Uh, the reason that... Okay, so here's another thing um, that you'll see later on in the game. As you advance you see how your hardware store and all the other stores have these stars here right below their names see their farmers market has uh, stars there so as time goes along you are able to upgrade uh, and it looks like here it requires level 20 and that's just probably because probably if we go to the first building that we got here which I believe was the building supply store it will show you we'll upgrade and a couple of uh, levels level 13 so what this will do is take 10 percent away from each uh production value there so that's why in my capital city i'm not used to the hammer taking a whole 14 or 15 minutes however long it said so anyway i guess we'll have to wait on that uh we'll, we'll try to wait because we do want to get that shipment off so all right, uh, 4,000 simoleons to select. I think my, might be a good idea. It's just so we don't spend it on anything else. Let's go ahead and deposit these in. And here we're just waiting on that hammer. Now, what we probably could do instead of waiting all day is we'll just go visit Daniel City and see if he's got a hammer for us. Daniel, don't let us down. Let's check him out. Uh, Not quite. You let us down, Daniel. Good job. All right. We'll head back. Um, how about the Global Trade Headquarters? Who thinks that the Global Trade Headquarters is going to have what we need, a hammer? No. They don't have a whole lot, actually. This must be sleep. Okay. Uh, on to the next thing. So, we have some bouncing um, icons here. Let's click on those and see what we get. Fill your city storage. Okay, so we... We did some things here, and now we get a surprise reward. Oh, maybe there will be a hammer in here. Wish for a hammer. No. Lots of other things. All right. Well, here's another one. Ah, yes. You there, sir. You have a hammer for us. No. Cameras. Things like that. All right. Well, um... We could definitely do something with that, though. Uh, where is our city storage? What, what's this right here? Global Trade Headquarters. It's time to... Uh, I thought I did that already. Okay. Oh, buy items from the Global Trade Headquarters. Buy 10 of them. Spend a total of 5,000. Oh, uh, the way that we're set up right now, we're not going to spend 5,000 unless there's a hammer. But I still don't think we're going to do that. Okay. Yeah, we're just not going to do it. All right, um, but, however, we can now, with all of these items we've been collecting, lots of them, lots of cameras, for sure, uh, we can increase our capacity, and that's going to increase it by five. Now, let me just say this. We don't need to keep seven cameras, so we're going to get rid of some of the cameras here to make some money. Yes, we're going to hike up the price on them, and we're going to sell five of them, and make a little extra cash. A little extra cash. We'll just keep two spare ones. We definitely don't need a whole lot. All right, now let's go in here and see what can be done today as far as upgrades. Here we go. Yes, yeah, so this is our city now. And um, like I said, I definitely don't want to spend... Uh, 40... Was it... How much was it? Was it 40000 or four? Let's see. Oh yeah, it's forty thousand. All right. So we're not going to spend forty thousand. We're not going to be doing anything with this uh, in this episode. But let's see what else we got. Transportation. How about that? That's going to cost us forty thousand also. So uh, looks like we're just restricted to buying little parks and things like that. Do we have any anything that we could put? I'm looking for the population boost here. That's what I'm looking for. And uh, it appears everything costs keys and sim cash and things like that. How about parks? Anything? 14,000. That's kind of worth it, but 25%. We want to do a little bit better. I think with this peaceful park, 
Or which one is it? One of us gives us a 30,000. I mean, a 30% boost, I thought. Must be this one. That's for 16,000. Uh, doesn't really make any sense with our layout right now. 18,000, 15%. Yeah, so. And we'll, we'll just come back. We'll just come back to that. All right, let's see if we can do some more upgrades. Oh, these buildings look the same. Almost. All right, let's find out what other stuff we can bring into the mix. Some of these buildings don't look that bad just to be standard buildings, you know. Okay, two seeds. Can do an upgrade there with two seeds. There you go, sir, your two seeds. How's about this one? Uh, five wood, which we may need to actually make those. Who's tired of only having two slots in the factory yet? Anybody? Because you know, for a fee of... Let's go to my factories here. For a fee of uh, 500 simoleons, we can get three production slots. I don't think that's really... Okay, so tip number... You know, this is the beginner series. And although we're just kind of talking about things here and there, I will drop an additional good gem for you. And here's one uh, straight away. So I would not advise you to buy the basic factory because when you look at what you're getting, you're only getting one more production slot and your radius doesn't really go down. I would probably start buying at the mass production, uh, which actually that'll unlock in just a little bit when we reach 27,000. That's when I now... I mean, it costs 7000 7000 Wow, that's a lot. But anyway, I would actually buy that because it brings down your population radius compared to 12. Now you're down four. You're, you're less four squares. So four squares, I believe that equals to a building, or is that a couple of buildings? I think it's a couple of buildings, actually. So you can you could do that, right? And so that makes sense. The high tech, that's going to be a bit stout for our pockets. And then you'd have to wait till 80,000. So I would skip over the basic factories. I think it's a waste of your money to buy those. And I would just say hold off for the mass production factory. That is tip number 483. What else do we have here? We have six plat. We have da 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 da. So. Let's make some more things here. Oh, looks like we can collect there. And how about our hammer? How's that coming? Six minutes. Okay, not bad. How about the Global Trade Headquarters? Got anything for us? No. Guys, they suck right now. They really suck. All right. What else can we upgrade? What else can we upgrade here? Okay, so for one wood. Any wood? No wood? Not yet. All right. We'll just wait on that. So how about this? And then we need, yeah, so we need the wood here. We really need the wood. We really do. We really do. But it's coming. The wood is coming. Oh, yes. And uh, here's the deal. Another tip. Uh, yes, it will be easy for you to go here to the Global Trade Headquarters at this point and make a purchase, only 60 simoleons, which... I wouldn't look down on you too bad if you did that, but uh, I'd only do it for emergencies. Right now, we're trying to move the simoleon stash upwards. And speaking of which, let's go here and see what our daily bonus is. These are other things you can check back in and see. And look for now for a limited time for 99 cents. It would be a good time to purchase the sim cash for 30. Oh, I don't, I don't want to. All right, so let's see. Looks like we can do an upgrade here. And we'll pick some more wood out. I think we do need to put another batch of wood in. That really seems to be the thing that uh, is going to be needed here in order to do a lot of these upgrades here. Maybe a little bit of that and this and that. All right, and we can do one, what else? We can do one here, yes. And looks like we'll have to wait on more wood. Yeah, wood is really looks like the, the thing that people want. I thought it would be um, these good old things here. 
And it looks like those are things that people want to buy. Now, I wonder, can we sell two of those for more? So they're two, three forty-six. Let's do a little experiment here, guys. What will happen if we sell two of these? How much would we get? Oh, not quite as much. So this would actually be a better value to do these offers here and sell that away. So I will do that. And what else do you got for us? Uh, okay, that's probably going to be more too. So there you go, making more money as we go. Oh, and now we're ready for another upgrade. And this one's going to be the skyscrapers. And some of these buildings don't look that bad. You know, my capital city, uh, I talked about this on the last episode. When you go to your wealth forecast, a lot of mines are luxurious homes. Pretty much 80% uh, of my buildings are luxurious homes. I don't think I have any standard homes, and I do have some premium, pre <laughs> premium homes. But uh, going back to it, these standard homes actually don't look that bad. Like, especially this one. That doesn't look that bad. Even these right here don't look very bad. So I think when I go back to my capital city, I need to... Um, now, I don't really like these in particular at this level. But, by the way, I can do another upgrade. But um, that's neither here nor there. How close are we to this? All right, 19 seconds. All right. I was wondering because we don't have all day. Oh, now they want three more hammers. So... Let's see, let's make sure here we have enough. Uh, and what are they saying about the roads? Oh, thank you. All right, we should be revealing something here real soon. Here we go. Oh, and now we are a suburb city. That's going to be a gift for us, right? Should be over here at our house. 12 sim cash as a reward. And uh, if we provide park services... For 20 zones, well, we can do that. All we have to do is move some of these because it's actually making more there. But uh, we can, um, I think, we can provide, which, yeah. So if we just move this, oh, we can't, we can't over there. Uh, hmm. How can we... See, that's going to provide for two more. We'll have to kind of just cheat a little bit. Actually, we move this one here, and then we can move this one over. We could actually move it over here. And I think that's going to provide, if we could get it on the right... There we go. That right there should now have a spread over more buildings yes did we accomplish it no provide park services for 20 residential zones and it says we did 17 but it appears that now we have one two that i think i think we did included more now oh okay well what we probably have to do is this one right here move these back close we're kind of messing up our layout here but we're trying to do something so does this get us closer no it's not affecting anything it looks like i don't know maybe it's not registered or something with us yet so let's we don't want to mess this up for nothing and we'll put everything back and let's just yeah let's just put our layout back the way it was There you go. We were getting more of a population boost anyway. All right. Things to collect. More things to collect. And while we're doing that, we'll do some more. And I think we probably need some more seeds. Oops. More seeds. And that usually takes a while. Oh, no. I don't want to start a video. This happens every video, guys. So for some reason... They think I want to watch an ad, which I don't. Okay, uh, something's happening, though. What happened? Okay, there's one. What other upgrades do we have? So that was required hammers. That required those I don't have any more than more nails and, uh, and that. Okay, well, I guess this is the last upgrade that we can do here. 
and we'll have to get busy on uh, with the production side of it making some more nails I guess we'll do that off camera but here we are with our beloved hammer what we were waiting on this entire time and now we can wait let me just make sure we're being productive here there you go all right uh yes here we go let's send off our shipment the cargo ship cast it off there it goes you see it it's taken off taken off and we're taken off ladies and gentlemen we now have uh four keys and we could purchase something with that but we're gonna let we're gonna not do that and we didn't really get but halfway through level 10 and uh, you guessed it, the rest of it will just be simply upgrading. And we may go ahead and add some more buildings in there uh, just to continue on. But that's what it's going to be. We're going to keep upgrading the buildings that we have, I think, is going to be the plan. So that we can get closer to the points that we need in order to make it to the next level. And we're about... 300 about 250 shy of where we need to be at and let's just get an idea here so that's going to get us third so yeah we need to do a few more upgrades there <laughs> pretty much all right well thank you guys for hanging around another episode uh, on this uh, beginner series this is level 10 next will be level 11 you guys stay safe thanks for watching the video and we'll see you next time